Hello and welcome to my channel. Uh, in this channel I'll be playing Caesar 4 in the beginning because I want to focus on the games I used to play when I was a little younger. And let's start, let's play. Uh, we will start with Republic because the Kingdom campaign is more or a tutorial side of the game and to be honest it's really too simple to bother. And even when starting with Republic uh, we will see it's really simple so let's choose a name and in the beginning we have two possible options where to start one usually is more economic focused uh, city building which I used to play as a younger person uh, in child and uh, usually there's something like trading included there's a lot of economic planning second uh, available scenario usually is more fightable where you need to uh, build some army and defend your city using resources available and that uh, used to scare me when I was uh, little but uh, I think we can try it now so in this city uh, the governor is needed to secure the trade in Mediolanum and pacify the local goals okay let's start oh and we have some uh, talking in the beginning that's uh, introducing us to the problem so in this Cisalpin Gaul uh, there is a lot of things they want to do and they have extensive fertile river valley protected by the Alps to the north oh, well uh, Hannibal would disagree and with easy access to the Roman heart of Italia in the south uh, clearly this province should be part of the Republic yeah who wouldn't agree Rome desires a secure supply hub at Mediolo Mediolanum from which to exert our claims on the province and to develop valuable trade roads throughout the Gaul. Open trade roads, import iron for weapons and construct several forts to house your cohorts. Protecting the city with walls and towers will improve its security. Bandits and barbarians from the area are sure to harass you, lightly at first, but their ambition will likely grow as time goes on and they realize that the province is no longer theirs. You may you may use whatever means necessary to convince them to that Cisapin Gaul belongs to Rome. Uh, that last sentence is funny, but um, to me, because the only means available is to defend. You cannot attack, and you cannot uh, bribe them or anything. And we have goals for this campaign, which means um, saying we need at least 10 points of culture from 10, at least 25 uh, points of security from. 10 avail uh, 100 available uh, 15 points of prosperity and 20 points of favor that's really like the easiest possible numbers available so let's begin There are uh, two ways how to play Caesar 4 uh, when beginning the city. There is a easy or more easier p way to play is to pause the game in the beginning. Let's take a look around, uh, plan the city, start building the city and when uh, you think your you uh, have everything prepared, you can launch uh, the time in the game. Uh, that's the approach I usually used to take when I was a kid because you know uh, it's it's as easy, it's simple, and you have time to like grasp the the problem uh, in the province. First things first, uh, you need to uh, localize a water source. Uh, usually in the early scenarios you have multiple choices where to take water from 
uh, there are several lakes they can that there can be a river but when you uh, move yourself to hardest hard, uh, to, to the later scenarios you can find that you usually have a really, really small place of water where you can start and with limited resources you cannot like drag the water across the whole map uh, to start a city there uh, so we have three three uh, places where to take water. Uh, next thing you need to do is to check what resources is available to you in the scenario. Right here uh, we can see we have timber and we have clay for uh, industry. Uh, we have all the available food to grow and um, also. Mm, olive and sheep to to be uh, raised and grown on the farmland as for industry itself uh, we can do clothing we can do olive oil we can pottery weapons and utensils okay next thing you want to do is to check your empire and to check what uh, available trade you have so we have Norikum province, uh, they will send us 50 iron ingots per year. We have Latium, that's representing basically Rome. Uh, they want to buy uh, clothes and will send spices, that's luxury, luxury thing we cannot create. And we have Sardinia that will, want, uh, that will send us um, cosmetics and will buy from us pottery. So our main focus is to uh, create as much as pottery as possible to fulfill this trade uh, to generate as much as uh, clothing to fulfill this trade and as a scenario suggested to buy uh, as much iron and use the iron to create weapons and hire uh, soldiers that will uh, protect us from attacks originating in Venetia and Verona okay. Uh, okay let's plan the city first so as we mentioned we need to uh, we need to create some pottery and some clothes to trade also uh, pottery and clothing are uh, two or four uh, resources that will help us uh, level our small uh, apartments uh, in this game there are two there are three apartments types uh, representing classes of ancient Rome one that's like the basic cottage slash house uh, for plebs they are hardworking worker people then uh, there is domus which uh, hosts uh, equities equities were um, something we can we can imagine like middle class people today uh, usually with some education engineers uh, lawyers etc uh, who provides services not uh, hard work and then we have uh, patricians uh, that that's basically uh, feudalism in here and um, patricians are uh, the the wealthy one who don't work usually comes from strong um, families uh, and uh, they care about they they basically just uh, participate in politics usually they are owners of um, uh, some some of these factories and agriculture societies around the Rome uh, right now uh, we need uh, clothing and pottery so let's start uh, imaging where where it would be fine to build it okay pottery uh, my strategy usually is to build pottery close to the clay uh, places where they mine or dig clay that's this this oranges clay pits uh, and I usually used to build uh, one uh, place of uh, source, the clay digging camp, to one uh, pottery factory. 
we have multiple choices where to build one is here one is here and one is here as you can see on our small map uh, there is not much space to build uh, agriculture so we cannot like prepare to build a really big city because it's just a starting uh, campaign it's level one we don't have all the uh, all the complexities of uh, future levels so uh, yeah okay let's focus the that pottery pottery factories will be here close to the stone and we already have warning we need clay and we need road access here yeah. we will provide it in the future when we will building these parts of okay let's provide some road um, I usually uh, when I uh, used to play this game I usually put a lot of roads marking where what will be in the future and it's time to build them but um, the problem with this uh, strategy is that the building of roads cost money and you don't have unlimited money in in the game and as I mentioned we need to build the clay uh, my OCD ones have narrow roads so we will have some tree cutting here yep. you need to cut down this tree and here we are and I built a free factory so I will build free free clay digging camps okay uh, now uh, what I want to build next is warehouse where uh, warehouse serve as a collector for the provided goods and in warehouse uh, you can set what goods the warehouse will collect you can have it all uh, or you can specify which one and I want only pottery to be stored in this warehouse and one last thing to this branch we need perfect office and engineering office now uh, engineering office prevents uh, to collapse risk of the buildings they are closed in proximity of this uh, office uh, usually industry generates a little bit more collapse risk than other buildings because it's uh, industry it's factory uh, fire is uh, controlled by perfect office as, as well as um, they uh, arrest criminals so they something like police slash uh, firemen in in this game and uh, same as uh, engineering office a perfect office prevents fire and they are like checking places and uh, if if there is something if, if there is some smoke they will put it out before fire starts uh, also in a very weak armies can be beaten by prefects uh, because uh, when the army comes to the city they treat them like criminals and try to fight them off but they are very weak they are not army people okay so this branch of industry is finished uh, we were talking uh, that we need to uh, create clothing factory as well but since uh, this map is kind of small and does not provide uh, much space for sheep because you know sheep pasture is kind of big I'll try to skip this step for now and uh, I will try to build a small city in order to see if it's possible without the sheep because uh, I really don't like um, building sheep and cattle because they just too big uh, just just to compare this is sheep pasture and this one is grain field so you can see it's a little bit more and when you're building like 10 or uh, more pieces of uh, fields it's it really makes a difference. 
Okay. So uh, we have some industry. Uh, we wanted to import iron uh, for weapons. Okay. So we need weapon factory as well. And since I already started uh, building factories in this place of town, let's enhance it and uh, let's build, uh, let's say, two weapon factories here. Okay, and let's build warehouse for weapons only. It's usually a good practice to have a warehouse designed specifically for one uh, good. Good, um, because it uh, can generate chaos. Uh, you can have uh, more production of raw materials than good, and it can fool your warehouse with clay and timber and wool, and then the pottery cannot be stored, and then it's a bottleneck. And you need to solve it by creating another warehouse for pottery exclusively, to you know have a clay to take uh, away from the from the warehouse and so on. So, uh, you have weapons, and if you notice the notification message on top of the screen, uh, they told us that they need timber. So, we will build timber cutting camp. And since we have two factories, we will build two timber cutting camps. That's a little bit too much, but uh doesn't matter right now. Uh, what I notice is when you have a producing uh, camps, like these raw camps, you can have a little bit um, too much and it doesn't bother the city at all. They are just waiting with uh, all the full storage for factories to um, create space for the goods. Now we need uh, to open trade road. So we will open trade road to Norikum that will send us iron. And we will open trade road to Sardinia that Hopefully they will buy all the pottery we have. Uh, in order to have a really good trade and working trade, you need to build trade depots. There are two trade depots available in the game. One is um, naval, that's that's built usually on some water masses that uh, has opening to the border of the map, like river or sea, and they have land trade depots. Uh, my OCD just want to place it so it's nice, but this rock is really in the way. So uh, let's let's put it here. So you can see, uh, my focus is to build the depots close to the factories and warehouses where the goods is created and stored, because uh, it makes sense. The the it doesn't make sense to drag all the good that is created in factory across the map to the warehouse that very stored and when the trade depot is open drag the goods across all the map to to the trade depot so you want to put it you know uh in a close proximity as as much as possible and we need to order that we are buying or selling the goods you can uh you can set up uh, how many of the goods you want to be stored in the in the depot itself. Um, how it works is that uh, when the warehouse no is notified that there is a depot that's uh, selling pottery, for example, they will start uh, supplying the pottery they have available. Uh, and the storage limit of this depot is 48. So we can set it uh, to be just pottery, like it's now, and it means that they will start. They will try to supply 48 pieces of pottery at maximum all the time. We can also lower it in the future or now uh, to some lower number. So, for example, 46. It means that they will try to supply it only to 46, and then when we want to buy something else, we can, you know, set. Uh, or sell something else if it's possible. It's not right now. Uh, we can uh, set it up as well. But be careful uh, if there is this setting, uh, like shown on the screen, that means we are selling pottery, we are buying cosmetics, and we have storage limited in pottery for 246. That doesn't mean cosmetics is limited to 8 or 12. Uh, 
it just means pottery is limited to 46 so in time uh, what can happen is that uh, the trade trader who will come here will just sell us cosmetics until it's full on 48 because it's not pottery it's cosmetics so if you want to keep it safe and smooth we want to lower the storage limit of cosmetics to 12 but we are not buying it right now cosmetics is a uh, special goods that's uh that's used by patricians and we don't have patricians right now okay so we have uh, created uh, all the industry we needed to start now we want to uh, prepare some food for our people so some food um, providers and that's kind of very simple uh, we need to choose a from three available sources on some maps there are only two and that's grain, vegetable and cattle usually uh, the game since it's trying to be historically accurate uh, is presenting us that grain is the most uh, welcomed uh, piece of food against uh, our people vegetable is more like uh, something maybe some patricians or someone will want to buy uh, I have seen maps that um, were grain uh, free, vegetable only, vegans, something like that. And it was working, but um, I got the feeling that it's not like preferred uh, food. So, usually, and since cattle is uh, as, as large as sheep, uh, I usually treat it like something special for patricians. So, in the beginning, let's start with grain. And we can see the that uh, f the field is turning yellow and green. Yellow means uh, the grain field won't work on these pieces. It means the fertile ground, uh, that's the yellow spots or uh, flowers you can see, um, is uh, only limited to some places. And the yellow part of the field uh, won't grow. But if you have OCD like I do uh, you can choose to build it there and it will work on 50% only second possible option is to try to maximize uh, maximize and the green part of the field so maybe the place right here let's try it and let's build I don't know six fields uh, for our people okay uh, these fields need farms that will operate them and uh, in, in the game manual you can read that uh, one farm will operate two fields that are closed close uh, to the farm as possible okay we have farms we have fields we need granary to store the food that's uh, grown on the field okay let's just start with one and we will see how, how that will work for us in our small small town and then we need food market food market um, usually uh, I place food market close to the um, to the houses as close as possible because it also has some kind of range uh, but uh, there is the same rule that was it industry to put it clo as close as possible the, the material, the factories, the storage and then uh, some market or trade depot the same goes for uh, food because the food created here will go to storage in here and then it will go to the trade uh, to the market and that market wants to be as close as people as possible to be used Okay, uh, so we need to build a food market and we want to build it close to our people and where will our people be? And how many of them will there be? That's the question I would try to answer right now. If you open advisors and go to a labor, you can see that our city that's built right now have opened 659 jobs. Okay. So what we will do, uh, we will divide it by 70 
and that's the base number of people living in one house and we will get to nine something so nine something means ten houses okay plus uh, there will be more building and more jobs to the buildings because we need food market and we need more prefix and uh, civil engineers to help us maintain the houses one thing to mention you don't want to build uh, buildings for people in close proximity to a production zone because there's something called desira des desirability and that's basically mean uh, how nice the neighborhood you build is so uh, who would want to build next to Copeland right so let's build food market uh, let's put some more road and it was 10 houses right so let's build five of them on this side three four five and five of them on this side there will be notifications and we don't have road access because we will build the road in an instant oh, come on come on Right. And now, as I mentioned, uh, we will want to add one prefect and one engineer in here. Now, how does it look like? 723 open jobs for 700 people. That's too, too low. And next thing we want to build is a reservoir. I'm trying to place the reservoir so it won't interfere with uh, gravel or land. Okay, let's, let's go over here. And pump house. Now, what this will do, pump house is a building that will pump the water around itself and via aqueduct will deliver it to reservoir. It's uh, a little bit of homage to uh, what ancient Romans used to do because some of these aqueducts and reservoirs are still used today after 2000 years of uh, functioning and it, uh, it's really like a nice piece of uh, technology it's uh, really like interesting and uh, this reservoir will provide water to our fountains. Our fountain is a place where people will gather fresh water. And, and now uh, to make a game a little bit more uh, harder, pump house, reservoir and fountain uh, needs equids to work there, not plebs. So we can see that uh, open acquired jobs are 45. One acquired house will provide 40 people. Okay. So we need at least one. But what uh, we need to do in our city, we need to worship some gods. And we have five shrines available in our city. So we will build them because uh, in this game you don't want to make your god angry if your god is angry he he can try to destroy your city as much as as much as he pleases to and uh, if uh, on the other hand uh, he's happy he can give you some nice bonuses and uh, there is uh, also a place for tax office I don't I won't build it now because uh, what tax office do they collect taxes from markets and villas. Taxes from markets are usually really low numbers, especially if it's just food market. If not, if if it is not the uh, basic goods or luxury goods, that of course has higher taxes. And we don't have villas yet. Okay. So uh, when building these uh, temples to where people can worship the gods, we have moved to one hundred and five quid 
that's uh, at least three houses with 15 people left unemployed uh, let's see if we can build bath house we can bath house is uh, also one of the things cultural thing Romans are famous for uh, their hygiene and uh, bath houses were legendary and in Pompeii it was really revealed how how they use them uh, and how much they were part of the culture because a lot of trades and some uh, civil affairs were discussed and uh, dealt in bath houses and you can say it was something like uh, today people go to cinema or uh, some restaurant to to meet and you know uh, spend time with in ancient Rome they used to do it in bath houses okay uh, so we built bath house and now we are 143 let's see if we can make if we can place cleaning here we can and uh, where to put it let's put it here Clinic provides a uh, basic uh, health treatment. Uh, you want to place them uh, if you can, um, because uh, sometimes the plague will come into your city, especially if you do not have enough food for all your people, because that's like the main red flag for plague in this game. And we do not have enough food right now because we didn't start to grow it yet. We are still in pause. Right, so now we are 165 uh, uh, equits we need, and that's a problem because I uh, counted, I wanted to build only four houses, and now I need to build five. Mm. Okay, let's build. Let's build the tax office. I, I spoke about it earlier. Um, we will be 179. 179 that's five houses yep we don't have any other option so let's go with five houses it's free and we don't have a road there so let's let's prolong the road four and five Okay, we have five houses. We have basically everything we need, I think. I hope. I suppose. And we can get ready to unpause the game. I suppose. Let's check everything finally. Oh, yeah, we forgot one thing. Uh, when uh, the, you use this strategy, means uh, preparing the city and uh, during pause in the beginning of the game what uh, you also want to do is to prioritize the work that's done on the labor page where we checked how many laborers we would need and it's done in this priority table right so uh, what you want to focus on is uh, maximize the priority for prefects and engineer and uh, then usually I do harvesting first also we can lower industry and markets and keep storage and trade on normal why? Uh, when the people will start to flock to your city uh, there won't be 723 people already at, at the first person arriving to the house No. How it works, it's 10, 20 people will come to house that holds 70. Uh, we have it counted that we have uh, houses for 700 people, which 10 houses um, by 70 people. So uh, there will be like 10, 20 people coming to house, then 10, 20 people coming to house, then 10 people. And we want a prioritized prefects and engineers, so our new, new newly built town won't burn and collapse to, to its demise when these um, jobs are full we want to focus on harvesting because from harvest you will gather raw resources that will be used in industry and markets right 
and when you harvest something you want to be able to storage them that means you want um, granaries to have workers and you have warehouse to have workers but now warehouse uh, can be uh, prioritized later on because industry is set up on low but storage and trade is put together as a as a group so granaries and warehouses are in one uh, one uh, label and for equities uh, we want to prioritize water and that's it we don't care if uh, maybe we can put religion on high as well but yeah let's let's do it that way and uh, just to be sure we have everything we will build one building more for our plebs so now we have capacity of 770 people right the first thing that will happen when we unpause the game is autosave that's kind of cool and it prevents <laughs> uh, the game uh, when the game crashes it prevents uh, angry angry flip of table okay so let's put it on slow speed now it's saving okay and we will go to the start of our city we will start see we'll start to see some people oh yeah here they are they are coming they are immigrating they are plebs immigrating and we have equity immigrating as well hello okay uh this will take ages so i will fast the game a little bit unfortunately there is only three speeds available and it's kind of uh, it's kind of uh, annoying in some uh, stages of the game especially when you build everything then you have everything built up then you have to wait 10 minutes before everything starts to gather motion then you need to slow down the game and etc et et uh, I pause the game because I want to show you something uh, right now uh, when first people will start to come to city you can see that the place will suddenly become live like with first second person uh, you can see there's already a uh, perfect here and what's what's uh, very interesting if for the game that all you can click on the person you are interested in you will see his name and if he has a job you can see what he's doing this uh, one is patrolling and this is immigrant he's just immigrating and we have trader here who is coming for our goods that are not here yet oh no shame so let's put it in fast uh, when uh, you are playing this strategy where you build the city at, in the pause and then unpause the game uh, you want to focus on when you unpause the game you want to focus on uh, patrolling your city yourself to see any possible problems so for example you can be focused that uh, this part is working well and people are getting houses water is flowing uh, people started but you can miss the fire or something that can happen in the other part of town uh, so we can check the status of people here uh, yeah, they are starting to get angry and uh, this yellow part means uh, they need more jobs they are jobless, they are employed right now uh, what uh, I used to do in the games is that I on the beginning of the game I close the market for plebs because I want my equities to be fed before the plebs get the food uh, it's usual because the equids uh, get angry sooner than plebs that they don't have food and they can leave town if they are not satisfied Okay, let's check our statistics uh, we have 47 unemployed uh, plebs, that's okay that's like less than 10% and we have 21 unemployed equids, that's uh, not okay that's a lot so we will need to think about some job that will hold 21 people our finances are bad because we didn't start the trading we just built a lot and a lot and a lot and now we are paying wages to people our relationship with Caesar is 
the same it was it's just the same it's, it doesn't change we can see here on the ratings that our population is already above the limit of this campaign because just this this is the first level of game and it's really simple for this uh, limits okay uh, we have uh, also general advice and uh, we can see that they have problems that no food is stored in the city because we just started and that's it there is no problem there are no problem with legions which means no coming army and we can check also religion and that's why we have problems with equits because we are missing a shrine to Ceres. Now Ceres is really important god in this game because she provides uh, bonuses to... Oh we have four temples for five gods, oh my god. Uh, she provides uh, bonuses for our agriculture. Okay, So let's build shrine to series. I'm purposely making this spot empty because there will be another marketplace there and we already see that the food market is full of, for, of grain and uh, our equids already had some food so let's open it to plebs our plebs are hungry and you can see the food is already gone it's like empty, emptied immediately with granary as well so um, it's usually normal in the stage of game and we need to monitor two or three more uh, seasons of uh, harvesting food to see if we have surplus or uh, not of the f of the food so um, because uh, when when the when they are empty the houses they will buy everything they have but uh, you can see the harvest is finished the granary is filling up but the houses still have some food left because you know they stockpile a little bit so uh, let's let's wait let's, let's, let's push it through and check our industry so uh, iron is flowing to our city that means that uh, weapons factory should be working yeah they are and we already have some weapons cool and we already have some uh, pottery as well Oh, that's nice. That means that we should be starting getting some money. Let's check it out. Yeah, trade receipts. We already sold 1,000 dinaries of pottery worth. Now, uh, you don't want to uh, intercept right now into the trade because in uh, the balance sector you can see that there are constructions and sundries expenses that you don't want to count in, in. but uh, and uh, the, the year is not finished yet but you can see that uh, pleb wages and equit wages are paid off basically more or less so if we want um, import anything and won't build anything we should be in uh, we should be in uh, black num green numbers, black numbers. Uh, we shouldn't be in red numbers. We shouldn't be in minus of our net balance, right? So that's that's a good news. Uh, so when everything is starting to get a little bit smoother and smoother in our city, you can see that uh, there's still no food and no uh, food in market and granary. Uh, let's see why. They are still buying, they are still stockpiling, but there are no hang hungry people at all. And we missed plague actually. That's that's a good news because usually plague is first thing that strikes the city. Usually around uh, first five hundred people arrive. There's a notification there, and usually that's the time when plague strikes. Um, but it was this time. And okay, uh, since this is a military part of the game, not the economic one. Uh, we want to start uh, to focus on military and for that I will pause the game uh, we want to build two uh, houses that are really uh, important and one is mess hall that's a place where they gather food for soldiers and then send it to forts and uh, you don't want uh, hungry soldiers and the second building is a requirement recruitment post 
uh, recruitment post is building that gathers uh, weapons and armor and provides it to people who come to city uh, jo joining the army usually uh, person in ancient Rome had an option to join the army uh, and and they got into some kind of contract that they will serve in the army for some period of time 10 15 years and they were able to took uh if they stay alive of course uh some uh loot with them as well and they gathered a status of free citizen that, that's the main reason why roman army was f all full all the time of all the people because uh, if uh, you you were able to survive uh, in the army for the period of time, you got uh, citizenship in Rome, and you got uh, some money to start with because you looted, of course. Usually, some slaves as well because the Roman economy was built on slaves, basically. Uh, and uh, if you were officer or some higher ranks, I think uh, there was also some kind of pension from state. I'm not, not sure how much and from which officer. So you build these buildings right now. Uh, you build mess hall close to our granary just because um, these places should hang around as much as possible. And I'm just thinking I'll build one granary here in the future to store more food, so I'll just put it in here, in line of world, road, so it's nicely neat. And let's build a recruitment post uh, close to our warehouses. Uh, this building basically needs to be close to road, it's um, the, the soldier who will come to city will go here, in here, gather his armor and weapon and then we'll go to fort so does it, it can be in corn basically and it doesn't matter if you are not in uh, micromanagement hurry hurry to gather uh, as um, large army as possible in slow time and there are missions that are like that okay so we put that and uh, let's let's wait let's let's uh, mm -hmm. Uh, let's wait uh, so the buildings will start to get oper operational. Let's build one more granary and uh, you know let's let's uh, build also a vegetable farm so our hungry people will stop being hungry at all times. So I think uh, equids will uh, be happy for more variety of food. So I built two farms. That means I need four fields uh, that will. I will uh, make this alignment because otherwise it will grind my gears. Uh, okay, so now we have 129 people missing in our jobs, so we need two more houses to be built. Okay, let's do it right here. Okay, that sounds good. that looks nice, and uh, let's unwrap the speed again. Yeah, we got a warning that food stocks are low. Of course they are because people are hungry. So come on, work, work, work on the fields. And let's check how our series uh, is looking on us after we forgot to build her temple or oh, shrine. And she's good. Okay, that's that's not bad. Oh, that's courage. Sorry. Uh, yeah, because uh, usually there are some thumbs ups or downs in in this part of table, and they are not yet there because mm, it just started. A favor with Rome is slowly degrading, that's normal for the game. And there is one uh, particular campaign in, uh, I think, Alexandria, where the, the, that's the real problem there. And uh, when we will get there, you will see why. I'm kind of amused by my, my title, Clerk, because now I'm Clerk Viking. Yeah, that's all the Vikings were, Clerks. Right. And our population is growing. We have one hundred thousand. We have one thousand citizens, and one hundred thousand maybe as well. 
Okay, our mess hall is empty. That's not a good sign. Oh, well, it's it's normal because the granaries are empty. Oh, they have one grain, so we can f fulfill uh, hunger of one soldier for uh, some period of time. I don't know, month, year. Oh, it's start starting to pile up. Okay, and let's see recruitment post. Oh, they already have weapons. Okay, now so uh, they already have twenty weapons. I don't think in this kind of uh, level we will need a large army. So I think we can stop import of iron now. Just you know, not to spend uh, more money than we need to, because money is tight, and uh, we didn't open the sheet trade. So yeah, we need to count our money. And if we have 20, we can already start building uh, forts, I think. Mezho is filling up, so let's build, uh, let's build light infantry. And I usually go only to heavy infantry and maybe cavalry auxilia on large maps, because, uh, surprise, cavalry, uh, cavalry is faster than foot soldiers. But uh, heavy infantry can easily wipe out light infantry, like two or three units in one go. So doesn't make sense to build light infantry. Right. And let's check our rating. Okay, so we have fulfilled our culture by literally building bathhouse because that's the base of our culture. We we are secured because we haven't been uh, under attack yet, and our prosperity is stagnant because we didn't upgrade any of our houses or villas. To in order to do that, we need a basic goods market for our uh, plebs to uh, level up, and uh, equids uh, they consider it like. Um, standard to have and some basic goods so what we can do is we can build basic good market now and close it to plebs so they will sell the things but only to equids right now okay and I saw some yellow numbers in our labor so we're missing 16 people yeah cool 16 people is still okay I think uh, but why everybody should be full But uh, since we have our priorities in labor set up, uh, the industry is the one uh, who suffers most from our seven missing workers, and I think it's okay because uh, we already had created some weapons for our forts and soldiers, and uh, pottery is working well as well. It's August right now, and we can check how many pottery we have exported. And we have exported 36 pottery from 65 possible. And this number is uh, resetted uh, in the beginning of the year, so we have eight months in. Uh, it's not bad ratio. We can probably sp upgrade it a little bit. Let's check it out. Uh, how many? clay is here oh no room see so uh, when you when you're building one to one uh, usually you have surplus of raw materials so let's build one pottery factory as well because obviously we have too much clay and we would benefit from it in our trade wise statistics Uh, our mess hall is working fine, our fort is full, it's full actually, I, I wanted to say it's filling up but it's already full, oh my god, uh, the, the guys that will come to rob us will be surprised, and we're still low on food stocks, because uh, mess hall took all the, all the food for themselves, okay, uh, number of we are missing 56 people because we built one factory, so let's build one more house 
around people. Now, uh, we can start to focus on our uh, prosperity right now because our culture is fulfilled for the sake of the game of the level, and we need prosperity. Now, there are um, two basic ways to raise prosperity. Uh, firstly, you must uh, not go to debt, uh, so you need to stay in black numbers, in in positive numbers. That's I think uh, if we want. Uh, extremely built something it's it's achieved already and then you need to level houses and uh, in order to level up houses uh, you have uh, three options you can level up on plebs houses and it's necessary in some games but what that means it um, you will provide them with some basic goods and, and they will level up in time and they will welcome more people but there is a catch the more people that come uh, the more jobs they will need, so you will need to start building more places for the people to work, or they will abandon your city in a much more numbers that they come to level up buildings. Second option is to level up um, equids, and the same principle goes there uh, because uh, second level uh, will house 60 people instead of 40, so in our case, we will have. Uh, 100 more equids that will want to work in our city and we don't have jobs for them we can build them but uh, it's not necessary and the third option is to uh, level up uh, villas for patricians and what i didn't said plebs and equids have three levels of houses a basic one and the two more uh, levels uh, i'll explain this in a moment and Patricians, I think they have something like 15, 16 levels we can go and they require more and more and more services in time uh, In the beginning they require us to have default things that uh, all patricians want like basic goods, basic food and if you don't have them uh, you, have, you, are in you are in trouble man but when you fulfill this uh, basic needs of uh, wealthy people they want uh, to have some civil cultural life so they want to have theaters, they, on, they want to have arenas, they want to have schools they want to have uh, uh, medical places and etc and of course they don't want to live near um, any factories and uh, not desirable places and uh, now back to the notification we saw uh, we have requests for military support and Rome hopes you will be able to support the war effort by contributing soldiers to her legions so I think Rome is starting some sieges to Venetia or Verona I don't know as usual we can see the uh, request here in legion oh we can't okay so in imperial section yeah request for military support and we can select troops to go there and uh, they will be facing two Greek light infantry okay so maybe they're going to Greece in this stage of history I don't think Rome went to Greece in this part of game if um, part of history but never mind and we can uh, click to select cohorts to dispatch and our one cohort will have very poor chance of winning but uh, the siege will take place in one year and something so we can check if we have more weapons and we have and we can check if we have food for our soldiers if we have so what we can do is we can build more fort maybe more forts and we can build one more light and infantry fort and as my OCD goes I need to make it narrow and straight yep here we go okay and just to be clear our soldiers will win we have one year we will build um, some missile auxilia as well I have not a lot of experience with them because as I mentioned I usually build the heavy infantry and that's enough and these are uh, range soldiers but range soldiers in this game are kind of weak weak meat and I want to have it nicely done, so let's let's do a little bit of 
gardening yeah the tree is gone and we can we can fit our fort here and let's unpause the game now uh, this is starting to get a little bit expensive because as you can see a uh, fort cost 600 denaries and our finances is telling us we are 300 in surplus so we already are not in surplus and we are losing money right now let's hope our one pottery factory will help us in our cause in having some money spoiler hour they, they will not okay so uh, as uh, before the notification came I was talking about uh, levels of homes and how to raise our uh, prosperity numbers okay so what we will do we will build patrician homes uh, they uh, can be built basically everywhere where there's a flat terrain with one uh, one condition and the condition is that they want to have access to reservoir water because uh, they are wealthy and they are having plumbing in their homes opposite of the poor people right so let's build some road and I think we can start with four villas for patricians oh and some readers are trying to uh, visit our city oh, good, good. Uh, we are having army right now no. okay so one villa and second villa and third villa and fourth villa and as you can see I'm leaving a space there for decorations that will help our desirability and we will give them time to come let's check our legion oh they are, they are filling up the forts oh that's nice and you can see uh, the immigration of patricians already begun and there are uh, when we saw plebs flocking the city with a uh, little uh, little luggages and uh, some equids with one horse and cart now we can see patricians uh, being uh, carried on with their servants I suppose nice little detail for the game to show show the classes of ancient Rome and bandits have arrived welcome to our city so I'm gonna slow the game down uh, it's not kind of good that they has appeared so close to our residential part of the city but what we can do uh, you can see that our soldiers already started going out of the fort because you know alarm alarm started ringing on how I don't know so we will send them because beacons of Gondor are lit and he is going for help and as I'm just wanna make sure because uh, these you can see marks of our uh, regions on the minimap and uh, we don't see the marks of enemy infantry it's usually in some turquoise colors when they start to move but when they are on the edge the minimap doesn't work well in the game so we just want to manually check uh, the borders of our city if there are more enemy legions there or not it's kind of mm, annoying part of the game the not, not working minimap but in, in when, when you are playing a longer game you will start to get a notch from where the enemy army will come because usually like two or three places on the borders when they spawn and you can uh, prepare for that output by placing some towers and walls there as well so our legionaries are starting to fight and let's pick up them up with another legionaries you can see that I didn't even send my uh, auxiliary army because they would probably make more mess than they would help and our legionaries already finished them off it was quick now I'm waiting for notification that enemy army has been oh yeah here we are 
Your city forces are defeating the enemy. Yay! Let's party. And let's party with patricians because they have the nicest houses. So, uh, when we uh, open the detail of our villas, we can see that they already started gathering some food and basic goods. And it says that the building will evolve with healthcare and desirability. So, let's check healthcare and the clinic that's placed here smartly, thoughtfully, out of the range of patricians. Uh, it's not in range because the clinician needs to walk down here and you know, it's, it's out of range. So let's try to place a road here. Um, it's still not good, it, it's prolonged to two villas but we have four villas and we will probably build more in the future. And you can see that uh, the villas that already have healthcare are now uh, asking for entertainment and they are still small villas. So we have not fulfilled all the demand uh, they have. And the other two want desirability. And I mentioned I left a small place in between them for a small hedge grow. Yeah. Now. And they have fulfilled their desirability. We can also turn this on and you can see it's a little bit greenish. That's nice. There are more uh, ways on how to raise it. Uh, first thing first, uh, you want to place some decorations. That's on this panel. Uh, I usually do some hedge hedges and uh, some trees because that's what's appealing to me at the most. And also one of the ways to uh, raise desirability is to place plaza. It's like decorated a row. And what I used to do if uh, I have a lot of time, and I have because I'm waiting for my uh, army to grow, is that I'm uh, trying to build something like a mosaic. So I will do plaza two and one on one tile and plaza three, no, no, plaza one on one tile and plaza two on one tile. And you know, you can like, try it without switching it again and again. And back to plaza one. This is the mosaic I used to do, and I don't know, it, make, it made me happy. And if you check desirability now, it's glowing in green, it's like a tree, it's opposite of what it was. So now it looks more nicely for people living there. Okay, so let's check. They want healthcare and entertainment, and they are kind of not happy and are grumbling. Because the amount of food and basic goods and luxury goods is minimum for patricians. Yeah, because we have no city and we have uh, not much people and we have not big uh, industry. Okay, now we have several options to what to do now. We can uh, focus only on uh, uh, only on building more equipped houses that will provide us some workforce for uh, services these patricians want and uh, need to level up or we can uh, expand a lot of our city so we can uh, level up our plebs and our equids uh, in the way they are and it will provide also uh, a necessary workforce but it's uh, a harder process it's more expensive one and and that's what we will do because why not? Let's not make it easy. Now you can see that uh, the same two Greek like infantry. Uh, well, if we will send the infantry, we try to uh, send before. Now it's not it's not saying poor. It's as even. That's because these guys have been in fight and they started to believe themselves. So whatever you do, believe in yourself, and you have even chance of winning. And if you will send all of them, they have excellent chance of winning, and they are not even full. They don't even have full staff, and they don't have full staff because they don't have weapons, and they don't have weapons because we stopped the import of iron, and we already uh, 
consume all what we had. So let's open the uh, trade once again, and we still have uh, seven months, as we can see in the notification. Right. So back to uh, enhancing our city. We can check the mood in our plebs, and because they have two types of food, they are very happy. We can see our equids, and they have two types of food, and they are content. Yeah, they are not neutral. Now uh, they will start to get green if they have more basic goods, so more variety, more more variety. And uh, I really don't want to build it right now because it will cost money and it will provide basically nothing. Just happiness to them. Uh, now uh, they will evolve with luxury goods, and patricians also want luxury goods. We have only one luxury good available, and that that is utensils, and uh, that's what makes me a little bit uh, annoyed in the game. I understand that the, the script scripted uh, basically uh, limitations to the map because you want to have some challenge in the beginning, but look at the uh, at the amount of wood that is uh, on the map and we cannot build furniture factory because basically we don't have timber oh yeah we are gathering for the weapons with this timber cutting camp but yeah people in this region won't have timber won't have furniture because their houses will be empty because that's, that's the game uh, with building uh, villas, uh, if you do not use the starting equids uh, setup I used here, that's uh, water, bathhouse, uh, region, clinic and tax office, and you have some different uh, combination, now is the time you want to build tax office. If you have working functional villa that uh, patricians didn't escape city after a few months because the services was so poor and because if you if you check our advisors we can see our finances and we can see that our uh, sale tax started to grow since uh, equits and patricians started to uh, buy some materials and we will see in the near future that our property tax will start to grow and that's because our taxman We'll start to hang out and patricians and we'll be like hey hey pay up pay up and we can also try to uh, set up overlay for tax collection and we can see and buildings has already been visited and they are visited right now uh, that's sad no one wants to be visited by tax collector yep and he has been there and now we have notification that Mars, the god of war, uh, has been benevolent to us. So I think our shrines are working, and maybe even Ceres forgotten. We have forgot to build her uh, shrine. We can see a religion, and um, this is a panel you want to focus on. You want to uh, keep coverage at least mediocre, but nevertheless good or even excellent because when you do that uh, you start to gather dedication from your gods uh, right now we have uh, one dedication on Jupiter that's the main Roman god and uh, with this dedication we have a uh, bonus that user is more forgiving if you are late with a shipment we didn't have any shipment yet but he is more forgiving and uh, our coverage of Mars, that's a god of war as I mentioned, uh, gives us a bonus that armor and weapons are produced more quickly. That's kind of handy when you have not full amount of soldiers and you are starting to be a little bit hurry because you need to send military support to in four months. Okay. Uh, now back again to building a city. I am kind of stalling uh, because I wanted my iron to go to weapon factories to help to not delay production of weapons and that already happened so we can start to build the utensils factory 
Now, uh, in order to build Utensis Factory, uh, we need plebs to work there in the first place, and uh, I again have two options. Um, we can upgrade the buildings, and it's possible to do that, but uh, still, I don't want to uh, because a lot of uh, plebs will come to city, and I don't have jobs for them as a manager of city. I don't want my people to be unemployed, that's really sad. So let's just build one utensil factory and um, one warehouse. And my OCD want to place the warehouse in here, but we already put Ford pottery factory there. So uh, I will have to put it somewhere in here, close proximity of factory that will serve. And we will store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will store utensils there, and we have this notification that we already have one month. The deadline is approaching, and it, this is last last warning. So, you know, let's let's send let's send them what we have. Uh, some some number raised. That's good, and they still have excellent chance of winning. Uh, let's dispatch them. Okay. Now, uh, since I have a game on fast speed, you can see that uh, our warehouse is filled with iron because I, in the in the meantime between building the building and setting up uh, the orders here, they managed to uh, push us some iron there. Now, uh, we are working on utensils, and when we do that, we want to build a luxury market. <coughs> So we will build luxury market here, we will set on the utensils that will evolve our equids and maybe our patricians will start to get less angry with us because right now they are displeased yet. Right, And uh, we need to check also our labor status and we are missing 87 people in plebs so what we can do is we can build one more building i still don't want to upgrade and i don't want to upgrade um, plebs building in this particular level oh we have one distant battle and we have another request for military support evident um, you know we have been so so, succe so successful that uh, you get another opportunity and i placed this building wrongly so i will delete it before the people will come and I will put it again place it again right now you can start a little bit uh, here I think I would want to build more villas for me so they will generate a little bit of money and uh, they need to be close to a reservoir so uh, let's put the road here and we can see that our Equid started to leveling up and they have building really really nice houses and they are filling up you can see 60 people so I didn't lie about number of people and we already see that they need more jobs so let's build them some jobs and we will start with Odium that's a place their poetry is presented and it's a form of entertainment that's uh, going well with uh, our our patricians because uh, they want access to all the entertainment possible in this uh, level particularly we have only Odium and theater and uh, Odium has a little bit lower range if we overlay for entertainment Odium you can see it's, it's spreading only here even even this building that's really close uh, to our Odium does not have uh, access to it, but they, they don't care as much. And we can see that our small villa is upgraded to medium villa right now. You can see even uh, small changes in our architecture. We have more uh, columns here and the new wing here. So they are starting to expand a little bit. And that's good because uh, the higher the level of villa, the higher the taxes they will pay in property taxes, that which we can check right now. And we can see that they already paid 54 
denary. So maybe I think the first level of patricians do not pay property taxes uh, because that would mean that already last year would have been something paid. Right, and uh, we still we can see that we still have unemployed equits from raising up level. Imagine what we do with plebs. We needed a lot of food and a lot of buildings too. And our prosperity is raising as well, and our culture is currently above our goal. So we are very cultural people, like 10 points from 10, 100. Very cultural. Okay, uh, let's uh, build our clinic for the second second uh, level of villas because our clinic doesn't have drench all right so, so so clinic here let's see yep and let's build two more villas we already prepared our road here our entertainment is enough maybe our religion is n doesn't have good coverage and uh, maybe it does because all criminals have vanished overnight. Praise Jupiter! Uh, I used to play this game when I was uh, younger, and uh, all the uh, notification from gods uh, always remind me some cartoon from Asterix Obelix. I don't know why. Okay, so let's. Uh, Complete the circle in here. Oh no 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 no! Oh, close, close one. And uh, villas want uh, entertainment, and we have one villa that won't grow because of desirability. Uh, let's check it out. Oh yeah. And we have reminder that uh, Rome wanted military support from us. Good, but our legion didn't even come back yet. They are unrequested. They are. They are still. They won the fight, but they are still coming back. Okay. So desirability. Let's build our plaza here, and you can see. Oh, that's my pattern. So I did it wrong here. It's like my uh, signature uh, plaza in the game. If, if whatever you see, uh, it's probably from me. I do it all the time, all the years. And I need to fix this one. Yes. Okay. And they are already evolving. And, and this one has fallen down. Why? He ran off luxury food. Luxury goods, maybe. I don't know. It seems like it. Okay, that means our luxury goods uh, is not enough providing for all the places or. Or, since we bought two more villas, it was a lot of customers at once, and that maybe over overdrove our utensils factory. And local bandits are waiting just outside the, our city, and our army is still returning. So let's let's save the game. And. Uh, Just in case uh, they uh, ruin our our uh, um, our city before our army returns, uh, and maybe we can also invest in uh, prefects here, just to be sure that our villas that we you know so hardly built and trying to maintain. Oh come on! Yep. They arrived before our army returned. Oh, let's go some. And we already have like one or two prefect offices in the city. Oh, but you can see that uh, the prefects are starting to go to to the enemy army, and they will try to uh, they will try to engage in battle. And yeah. So what we can do now is we can reload the game, and we can start to provide some fortification to our city. I mean, like the first thing we need to know. Yeah. Okay, so let's load the game. 
why not? Okay, now we have a really limited amount of time to build some fortification here and we want to do it uh, smoothly without uh, destroying our desirability of patricians because we uh, put our patricians as close to enemy army as possible because where do you want to put wealthy people right and as close as dangerous as possible that's uh, adrenaline lifestyle for you and I am unable to build wall around uh, Odium here because there are some limitations where military buildings can be placed in close proximity to civilian buildings. So let's just let's just try this one. Uh, what I'm doing right now is uh, one of the strategy how to win against enemy army if you do not have enough of your own army. We do have army, but our army is uh, fighting abroad, and they are returning, and they don't want to return to burn up city. So what we can do is we can uh, gamble where the enemy army is gonna appear, and I gamble it will be right here, and we can build build um, much more uh, stronger fortification that is needed for a current level of city. This is really too much it's four towers but we need to provide them road and when we do provide them road we can see in our labor part we have 152 uh, open jobs for our towers and uh, just in case we want to have them on the highest priority as well and just to be extra extra sure we can also build some perfect offices here and just do one engineering I will explain it later okay and uh, let's try this one so we can see our uh, towers are populated with uh, some soldiers already and that's instant and why is uh, this strategy uh, used uh, it is used because building army takes time you need weapons weapons need to be stored in our recruitment uh, building over here uh, then a person need to walk from our starting point to this building to gather his armor and weapon then he needs to go here where to his fort then he's considered soldier but in the moment he arrived he kind of have a s not good morale because usually they uh, need to eat something and you know uh, gather the information where they are and who they're fighting for and that we are you know trying to manage something here so it's, it's a good sign to fight for us okay uh let's try with four towers i think it's sufficient for the small army that's coming oh yeah, let's speed it up uh so this is quick solution it's uh kind of like it's not cheating but it's cheating because um, you know uh, you have been in future you know the army is coming and uh, they are spawning somewhere and, uh, and we gamble that they will spawn there and they are not come on okay now we have uh, two options we can try to go on with the game and hoping that our prefects will kill this incoming army option one option two is to load the game and uh, try to convince them to appear on the side when we build the actual towers or uh, option number three we can pay them off and i don't want to pay them off because i don't have money remember uh, we didn't want to start the clothing uh, industry because sheep take place uh, lot of place to grow them and uh, we can see our but our prefects are trying to engage with combat with the enemy army and they are successful in a part they killed five people uh, from 20 but uh, they are burning our city to the ground so let's load the game again and we are back here and 
we will try uh, the strategy once again we will try to build four towers okay maybe let's go with three no uh, let's do four let's do four and a small wall road access and what was that what, what we what we also did oh yeah uh, perfect office let's let's put some perfects here and one engineering okay and labor uh, now the question may arise uh, why uh, we are spending so much money on towers and uh, not to paying off the army uh, there are several reasons one um, the army will come again in the future uh, it's a setup script they will come every two years and it's a possibility that uh, they will come again when our army will be off too so towers have a uh, chance that they will engage an enemy more than one once uh, second reason is that uh, there is a game mechanic uh, if we will upgrade the buildings of plebs, which I don't want to and I already said it, we can use the towers as sort of uh, unemployment buffer because in the time of peace uh, we don't really care if there are soldiers or not. So in the time of peace we can do is uh, we can uh, make the priori priority of uh, employment the lowest possible and it was ju it's just a um, pool or buffer for our workers so if some building is upgraded we don't have to um, uh, maintain uh, the jobs uh, as neatly as you, you would think and just so we won't uh, repeat the process again and again in case of loading let's save again okay so let's see Fingers crossed they will appear here and not there again. Oh, here they are and yeah, they appeared absolutely on different place. Come on. So let's let's reload. Meantime, we can see that our uh, equits building are being uh, leveled up, and this one is evolving to next level. So that means uh, we will have more equits to work, and we will start to build theater accessories once we will defeat. Okay, this will need some video editing in the future. At least they are close. So let's see if our towers they started firing on them and they are closing uh, because they do they want to burn our clinic and the towers started to shoot on them and they're close to towers. That's uh, exploiting the artificial intelligence of the game, but uh, I don't really care right now. And maybe no, uh, I wanted to say that maybe our prefects even um, will even manage to put out the fires, but they did not, and our clinic has burnt down. And Odium did not. That's good. So uh, let's use the strategy I said about buffer for towers and make them lowest on priority list as possible. And let's fix our priority for industry and markets as well because we were really low on, low on people there. I think we need, since we bought we built it um, these offices, we will need to build more houses for our workers. Okay, now let's uh, replace the clinic. You can see that they already degraded our 
a level of patricians and so cleaning there and now we should have enough workers in equit section to build actor guild now this is a building uh, that uh, needs equit to run but uh, it does not have the optimum desirability to be put next to patricians or um, equits as well so let's put it a little bit uh, out of reach but still not so far and let's check how many people have we have 25 unemployed equits that's uh, good but it's not enough uh, we would need this building to upgrade as well we have one utensils here it just depends who will take it if will be patrician or equit maybe we can also yeah we can expand um, and we can build one more utensil factory you want um, caesar wants more military support but he didn't return soldiers he borrowed yet so we don't have anyone to send him sorry I am starting to think that that's not the thing you want to say to Caesar, the unlimited dictator of Rome. But we'll cross the bridge when we get there. Yes, the building is upgrading, so now we will have enough workers to build to work in theater, and we will build the theater here. And so they will have enough access to all our villas. You can see the grey part is uh, where the access will be when the building will be operational and it's now and it's purple or pink right and our villas start to evolve and the two on the edge where the services from plebs are available are evolving and the remaining are not because they don't have enough religion and hygiene coverage now with hygiene we can do much we can build another uh, bathhouse but bathhouse uh, has a lot of people that work there. it's 38 people that's one whole building of equids to uh, employ and that would mean uh, one more equid building that will need to wait before they level up but let's check our rating. Our rating at prosperity is 15 and now the security is what's holding us from winning the scenario. And that's because there have been some crimes recently so security is failing. Uh, I kind of um, disagree with the game uh, in this part uh, because we got the blessing from Jupiter, the mighty god, that uh, all criminals are off the street but what uh, they mean by that is that there is no civil crime like there is no theft and there is no people stealing food from markets if they don't have enough food we, they do because we are, we are trying to take care of our people um, and uh, that, that's the civil theft and uh, what they mean by security is the army uh, threat to city and we have been attacked we wasn't able to maintain the attack successfully because uh, building burned and uh, our army is gone and they are gone too long I think too long we should be back we should be back already I think and maybe we uh, encountered a small bug in the game uh, not sure because usually it takes the same amount of time to go there to the battle so the yeah, amount of time between uh, the fulfillment of request and notification that the distant battle was won so the same amount of time to them to return and they are not back yet so maybe we can start to f we don't have money for that but we can start to think that we can build another fort just in case another attack will come or we can sit and wait if our rating of security will grow before enemy army will come 
and it is possible that it will happen because we already on 17 from 8 previously but our prosperity has fallen and why is it fallen? oh because one of equid house run out of utensils oh. come on man get your forked spoon yeah we are closing to deadline but we don't have any army because he didn't return the army so prosperity is back on 15 and the security is rising so let's hope our security will rise before the enemy army will come but I think it will and I think we are closing to winning the scenario right now and we avoided uh, leveling up the plebs houses yeah yeah yes and that's success for you so we played the scenario for five years and three months our popularity is excellent because we took care of our people they got plenty of food they have some basic resources we managed to uh, get paid as clerk uh, that's like low level position here and i think it's low. how much is it uh five denarios per month uh, i'm not sure uh never mind that uh, we have uh, fulfilled our elements for scenario and uh, we have triumphed in the dangerous land of northern Italy where Greeks attacked somehow probably history will surely look back on this day as the beginning of the illustrious career they meaning career of my family okay so that's all for today and of course we can keep playing but our goal is next mission thank you for watching bye bye